What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about a problem I'm having with adrenaline. And anytime I start the application, I get this nasty frozen screen. And I believe it's due to corrupted themes that I have installed. And I changed the theme and now I get this problem. So I'll be going through different ways to fix this problem, which is not that difficult. So hopefully this will help you out if you're having issues like this. So let's hop on our PC and see what we can do to fix this problem. All right, so here we are on our Vita and it just froze. And if you're stuck on this screen, all you have to do is hold the home button and you're gonna be accessing the adrenaline main settings or the uh, home settings. And here you'll see adrenaline and then you wanna hit the settings and you want to exit the PSPMU application. Sorry, let me adjust my microphone here real quick. So let's exit out of here and just close that. Now, the first option we can do is access the recovery menu. So let's open up Adrenaline. And before you hit the start, hold down the R button. And this will access the back settings, the back end settings, the recovery menu. There we go, so the Adrenaline Recovery Menu. And since I already know what the problem is, I'm gonna go into my plugins and disable the CXMB. And this is the plugin that allows us to run our custom themes. Without this, the custom theme will not run and in theory, our Adrenaline application should enter no problem. Now, if you believe it's another plugin that's causing this issue, just disable it here and we are good to go. Now under configuration, we have all sorts of different settings. So here you want to be very careful when messing around through these different options. So um, let's see, hide Mac address. We're gonna enable that, hide corrupt icons we can disable that or enable so i will disable that because i want to see what's going on there's nothing here really that would affect that at all i mean we have the skip sony logo a skip game boot currently disabled high corrupt icons auto run program at ps at psp game currently disabled so we just want to leave that disabled you don't want to do that and everything looks good here for the most part Use no DRM engine. We want to make sure that's enabled. Let's go back. And in advance, we have advanced configuration. Here we have force high memory layout currently disabled. We'll leave that alone. Executes, let's see, boot.bin in UMD ISO currently disabled. XMB game pops all enabled for plugins. So you don't really have to disable these because we already disable all of our plugins through the plugins section and reset settings will basically just reset everything on adrenaline so if you're like running a japanese version uh, ps vita the default language for adrenaline is going to be japanese so it will revert back to that language basically the recovery menu is for the plugins and disabling those plugins if you installed a couple or you transfer some from your PSP onto the Vita and it's not working for this version so let's exit and see what happens and there we go we got a quick boot Sony computer entertainment system logo and we are finally back into our CXMB or XMB. Let's check out my games here. And everything looks good. And you gotta love the PS Vita because it loads everything so quickly. That's why it's one of the most powerful applications for the PS Vita. And let's take a look at our system settings real quick. And the X button is working, no problem. Perfect. So let's exit out of here real quick. Now that we fixed that, let's go into our auto plugins application and take a look at those plugins that are available for us through this app. So PSP plugins, adrenaline, PSP plugins for adrenaline. So I have these two installed. 
and you can take a look at your different partitions to see what else is installed. So there's only a total of seven plugins. Now, if you think it's that plugin that's causing the issue and you don't want it, you can always just completely uninstall the plugin through here. Also, if you can't access recover menu for some odd reason, like your R button is not working, you can disable the plugin through this app. And that's the reason why I'm showing you. You just have to press triangle and you'll see that option down in the left hand, lower left hand corner. Triangle is disable the plugin. Cool, so we got that all out of the way. Now let's check out VitaShell and see where we can find those corrupted files. Going into our Vita shell, we will access our folder for Adrenaline. So my partition is going to be, or the folder that I'm using for Adrenaline is going to be under the UXO folder. And we are going to go under the PSP EMU folder. And we're going to go under the PSP and theme. So here are all of my custom themes. And what I'll be doing is deleting all of them because I know for a fact that most of them are corrupted and there's just no way for me to recover or fix those. And just going through each one is just going to take a lot of time. And I already did that on my PC, so just going to get rid of that completely. And you can also get rid of the CXMB folder if that is the issue that you're having and you don't want no custom themes on Adrenaline. You can just delete that there. And that is basically it for this video, guys. I hope this was helpful and you're able to fix Adrenaline again and go through and play your PSP or PS1 games. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot, especially with the whole YouTube algorithm. And that is it for this one. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscription button here on my face and that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. And if you're looking for PSP content, I have that playlist right here for you. And PS Vita content right down below, that full playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.